Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Avatar The Last Airbender, the animation version of the show. Last time on, we had the Warriors of Kyoshi, I want to say that was the name of the village. We met some interesting people, we met the Warriors themselves, a group of uh, female kick right there, and the leader of which I hope we get to see again because she was cool. We had Aang and Sokka kind of dealing with their pride a little bit, letting the letting the fame of being the Avatar go into Aang's head a little bit, and uh, riding a giant sea serpent, that was pretty cool, and blasting water everywhere. You know, there was a lot. There was a lot that happened in a very, you know, small space of time. We had an attack on the village, you know, Aang sort of dealing with the responsibility of being the Avatar. Um, and what that means. So yeah, an episode that managed to be a lot of fun, but also dealing with the sort of morality of this uh, of this position that Aang is in, and uh, what that could mean for the future, and how dangerous he could be to people he's around, and you know, just sowing those seeds a little bit. But we're going to move on to the next episode. Before we do, please remember to hit the thumbs up if you do enjoy the reaction and the review of the episode afterwards. Uh, subscribe if you don't want to miss any future episodes. And uh, there's links down below if you're interested in Twitch, Discord, that kind of stuff. It's all linked down below. Check it out. We'd love to see you there. But for now, let's jump into another episode and see what the adventure will be this time. The Earth Kingdom City of Omashu. I used to always come here to visit my friend Boomy. Wow. Boomy. We don't have so It could be dangerous if people find out you're the Avatar. You need a disguise. Oh, this is so itchy. <laughs> the perfect disguise. Himself? He's looking pretty damn good. <laughs> Rotten cabbages? What kind of slum do you think this is? Whoa! <laughs> he just fucking destroyed that cabbage. Oh, my cabbages! Oh no, poor guy, <laughs> poor guy in his cabbages, he's just trying to make a living. Yeah, I assume we're going to see some earth bending. This should be fun. State your business. Or not, or terrifying, or terrifying. I've got to have a mind to bend you over my knee and pedal your backside. Settle down, old timer. Just tell me who you are. Noted, if I ever want to get in somewhere, threaten to put someone over my knee. <laughs> <laughs> Disguise and sneak plus 100 for Aang, I guess. Show some respect for the elderly and carry your grandfather's bag. Good idea! <laughs> I love it. I love it when things just work out for Aang. <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he just gets all the best treatment just by existing. <laughs> he brings the packages up and gravity brings them down. But my friend Boomy found a better use for these shoots. Look around you. What do you see? That definitely seems like a Boomy. <laughs> if I've ever seen one, that's... Boomy is the right name for that kid. <laughs> the world's greatest super slide. Boomy, you're a mad genius. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> do not, do not be left alone with this kid. <laughs> do not. But you know what? That is exactly what you'd use this for. Now that I'm here, I'm starting to have second thoughts! Aang is really all about just riding things. <laughs> He's just like, I need to ride animals. I need to ride these big super slides. Just about having a good time. Oh no, oh no, oh no, this took a turn. This took a real bad turn. <laughs> oh no. Oh my God. The property damage. The property damage. <laughs> it's important that you be prepared for anything. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> the most amazing still frame ever. Oh my god, these poor people's houses and buildings. Oh no. Oh, that poor man. <laughs> that poor guy. There's no way they don't get arrested or something. <laughs> There's no way they're gonna get executed by earth bending or some shit. <gasps> oh no. My cabbages! You're gonna pay for this! Oh no. <laughs> Why the cabbages? Justice for these cabbages, goddammit. 
is the king, I guess. Is this, is this going to be his friend? Mm -hmm. It's absolutely going to be his friend. I recognize that crazy look <laughs> already. What is your judgment, sire? Hmm. Throw them. <gasps> a feast. <gasps> Throw them a feast. This is absolutely his friend. This is Boomy. This is Boomy all grown up. Where are you from? I'm from Kangaroo Island. I hear that place is really hopping. Well, all these good jokes are making me tired. <laughs> he, he said one. Day. He said one joke. <gasps> the Avatar. Interesting. We don't know what the Earthbenders uh, are like in this war. We don't know how they're going to feel about the Avatar. Thing checks out. No Firebenders here. So good work, everybody. We'll see you next time. Good try, Yang. Good try. Didn't didn't pass your charisma check that time. Tomorrow, the Avatar will face three deadly challenges. Why? 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 <laughs> Why three deadly cha challenges? What? <laughs> for fun? It's for fun, isn't it? Cool. They don't need doors. They just make the doors with their bending powers. I need you to find Appa and bust us out of here. I don't think Momo wants to do this. Oh my god. <laughs> he only just fits in. Jesus. <laughs> Momo's been eating too many cabbages. Well, and that's how Momo died. Just stuck in a tube. I thought you might refuse. So I will give your friend some special souvenirs. Those delightful rings are made of pure genomite. Also known as creeping crystal. Ooh. It's a crystal that grows remarkably fast. I can stop it, but only if you cooperate. That's sinister as fuck. <laughs> Imagine being like encased in fucking crystal. That's terrifying. <laughs> it seems I've lost my lunchbox key and I'm hungry. Would you mind fetching it for me? <gasps> yeah, javelin. Javelin! Let's go. Nice. Nice. I need help with another matter. It seems I've lost my pet Flopsy. The music is so interesting. <laughs> it's kind of... Dude, carnival music. <laughs> Come here, Flopsy. <laughs> That's a fucking terrifying bunny. Fucking use an air ball or something. Go. Woodush. Do something. <laughs> That's Flopsy, isn't it? The big one's Flopsy. Flopsy? Oh, God! <laughs> oh, it worked! Hey, there we go. It's friendly. Guys, are you okay? Other than the crystal slowly <laughs> encasing my God. entire body? Doing great! Your final test is a duel. And as a special treat, you may choose your opponent. Is he going to choose him? Choose wisely. Is he going to choose him? He's going to point at him. I choose... You. <laughs> Wrong choice. Yeah, I think he was betting on that. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God, he's ripped. He's absolutely shredded. <laughs> I do like the stomping, bringing the boulder up and then fucking pushing it. It's cool. <gasps> the ball. I love that fucking ball. That air ball. So fucking cool. <laughs> Oh my god, it's like an earth snowboard. Oh my god. And he got fucking slapped. <sighs> oh my god, Ang. Jesus. <laughs> Where the fuck that come from? <laughs> that wasn't there a minute ago. <laughs> Answer this one question, and I will set your friends free. What is my name? Boomy. I got it. Yeah. He's an Earthbender, right? Rocky. <laughs> Fuck's sake, you know, soccer. Of the <laughs> We're gonna keep trying, but that is a good backup. To solve each test, I had to think differently than I usually would. Yes. I know his name. As you said a long time ago, 
I had to open my brain to the possibilities. <laughs> Boomy, you're a mad genius. There it is. There it is. It's Boomy. This man yeah, nearly I fucking can't. killed Ang <laughs> to Never. teach him a lesson. <laughs> Genomite is made of rock candy. You can eat it! You must master the four elements and confront the Fire Lord. And when you do, I hope you will think like a mad genius. Bit of improper, bit of outside the box thinking. That's the lesson we learned today. Thank you for your wisdom. But before we leave, I have a challenge for you. <laughs> Make him run this fucking slide. <laughs> Oh my god. He's fucking just no his cabbages again. Poor cabbage man. Poor cabbage man. It's over. Oh my god. Oh RIP cabbage man. And your cabbages. <laughs> Jesus. Man, they pack in a lot in these episodes. They're like 22, 23 minutes long, but they just ram in a bunch of ideas real quick and pace it's like boom boom boom. We gotta get all of this in here and it's amazing that the episodes don't feel like there's too much <laughs> going on. Um, it, 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 it's focused yet fast paced, I think is the best way of putting it, based on these episodes that we've seen so far. The thing I loved about this episode the most, I will say, is just getting a sense of the Earthbenders, their, how their sort of realm works, how Earthbending is a part of their culture and how they use it. All of that stuff was really cool. Just like the world building, how they use it in their day-to-day -day lives, all of that good stuff. Because we haven't really got to see that with the other um, elements so much at this point. So it's nice to really get a sense of the, the world building and how the sort of living in this world where people can manipulate elements in this way. What does that look like in a city, in a normal world? And of course they, you know, they have like the equivalent of Amazon here delivering things and how they use air the air bending their earth bending to to achieve that so yeah i really liked all that and obviously we got a sense of what earth bending is like in a combat situation but i like that the episode didn't just have that which they could have done very easily it could have just like this is how earth bending is used in a combat situation which is what we've largely seen from the other elements at this point but here we got to see what it looks like in a i'm gonna say a normal day-to-day -day kind of life we got boomy Boomy, an old best friend of Aang's from a hundred years ago now, all grown up being the king of this city. Um, ripped. <laughs> Surprisingly, just absolutely shredded of a man. <laughs> um, that was a good reveal. That was funny. Um, I obviously, in the reaction, you see, it, it was very clear to me very quickly that this was Boomy. Because <laughs> why, why have Boomy? Why ha introduce this best friend character? if it's not going to come around in some way and then just the fucking crazy eyes <laughs> it's the crazy eyes I was like yep that's that's boomy i'm amazed ang didn't realize it quicker than that honestly <laughs> but he's a fun character he's fun i i again i wonder if we're gonna see more from him in the future or if it's a one and done deal if this is just like a another lesson learned kind of episode as we slowly build ang up towards his his destiny of taking on the fire nation and their lord or king or whatever and and you know the whole thing here being yo do you remember what i told you all those years ago think outside the box improvise be a mad crazy genius um because you're gonna need that you're gonna need that in this fight you're gonna need to surprise people and you know valid absolutely valid lesson and i think it's a good you know in the context of this being uh you know a kid's cartoon I think that's an important thing to tell kids, you know, if you're a bit eccentric, if you're a bit mad, if you think outside the box, that's okay, you can succeed with that, and you can do wonders with that, so um, it's nice to have that be embraced, um, and like, hey, if you're if you're a little bit crazy, a little bit weird, that's perfectly fine, embrace it, embrace it a little bit, so that's fun. Katara and uh, Sokka sort of took a, I think like I'm saying his name wrong, I feel like so so Sokka, Sokka, I'm... I'll get it eventually. Anyway, they kind of took a little bit of a, a little bit of a backseat this this episode, which is fine. You know, there's a it's a bunch of episodes. Uh, it's okay for them to take a backseat whilst they were slowly getting encased in edible rock candy, <laughs> which was terrifying at first. I was like, 
that's a real sinister thing to do to someone especially kids like yes i'm going to encase you in crystal have fun with that it was pretty like eesh, eesh. that's not a pleasant fate to to have but i guess once you're encased you could just lick it maybe lick your way out of it maybe i guess maybe i really enjoyed ang's disguise of an old man really playing up the character i just love seeing ang just having like constant natural 20 rolls if this was DD, <laughs> he just just absolutely blags his way through situations um sometimes which is just funny it's entertaining and silly and just just a good time uh, it's it's just funny seeing um sometimes how soccer gets kind of annoyed by it like this this guy this fucking guy over here he just all he has to do is wink and smile and hey it's all good <laughs> but hey gotta give it dang he commits to the bit which i like He's in that old man disguise and he commits to that old man disguise, goddammit. And then we had poor, poor Cabbage Man who <laughs> was getting scolded and had his wagon destroyed for bringing in bad cabbages. Clearly the Earth Realm Kingdom, big on cabbage. They love a bit of cabbage to do the Earth Kingdom <laughs> folks and they take it very seriously. And then the guy got his stall wrecked twice, seemingly and he's very passionate he wanted to kill these children because because of his cabbages <laughs> fuck's sake oh uh, that's funny sometimes you gotta love just the the madness of the comedy in a in a kid's cartoon and or just a family cartoon because uh, you know it's appealing to me i'm a full adult and it's appealing to me this the the, the way that the combat and the like the fight sequence are done are really engaging and then the silliness of the humor is really funny and entertaining and the world building like i've said is it's fun to see them plant some seeds grow it live in it a little bit so i like all of that but on the flip side in some of the other episodes we've dealt with some more darker stuff as well so i like all of this building up we're getting at this point and i feel like it's gonna have some good payoffs down the line um but yeah i'm just really entertained and enthralled by the kind of world building we got here and getting to see how earth realms or earth kingdom stuff worked it makes me intrigued to see maybe more of the fire kingdom to see how that works um obviously we might not get to see any of the air bending unless we have like flashbacks to sort of see some of it maybe um and obviously the north pole once we get there if we're going to see how water bending and how that works in their kind of Field and how they use that in their day-to-day -day life it's yeah it's fun it's fun and creative and imaginative and just a good time good time i'm enjoying the show so far i am very much enjoying it i can see already why people recommended it so much as a as a thing to watch but that's gonna do me for this one uh fun uh i love the adventure of it i love the light-heartedness of it which is a big difference for the stuff that i've covered on the channel thus far um, but it's fun to steer in a different direction sometimes, so hopefully you're all enjoying that. Um, but yeah, good time. Good time. Thank you for watching this one, guys. If you enjoyed it, please press the thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you thought about this episode, and check out the links down below for Discord, for Twitch. I do streams, I do video games and stuff over there. All of that good stuff. We'd love to see you. Um, but for now, thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.